Mercury so you understand what is Ansible Volt and uh, what it is capable of. So guys, Ansible Volt is tool provided by Ansible for encrypting or decrypting the secret information stored in Ansible playbooks or the files which are under Ansible control. When I say critical information, to give example, that is, let's say you got your encrypted password, you got your SSH keys somewhere in your playbook or in the variables. So you want to secure, you don't want anyone apart from you or who knows the password of your encryption to look at your keys because that's security risk right so with Ansible Vault you can make your information secure right now Ansible go to version 2.3 with version 2.3 it is possible if you want to encrypt selected data or selected information in your single file when I say single file, what it means, let's say you got one playbook where you got 100 tasks or 100 definitions. If you want to encrypt some particular data, particular sections only, that is possible with Ansible 2.3. Earlier, it was not possible. So earlier, what we guys, we were doing, we were basically encrypting the whole playbook. Uh, next thing I want to mention with Ansible, you can also encrypt or decrypt the binary files also. One thing maybe in your mind, if you encrypt a binary file, when you copy that file using copy module to target machine, what would be encryption? Basically that file on target machine would be copied as unencrypted or you can say decrypted file that will be not encrypted one. Because Ansible checks, okay, when you supply right password, which was used for encryption, Ansible knows, okay, you are right guy who is running the command so this file is your you know the password of that particular ansible vault file so ansible allows you to copy that file in decrypted form on target machine ansible make use of cipher aes256 for the encryption i'm going to give you a quick lab in quick lab we are going to create uh, some new encrypted files or how you can encrypt the existing file if you already got some playbooks or some information then uh, let's say you want to change password or basically in Ansible terms we call it rekey if you want to rekey your existing Ansible files with new password then you can easily do that you can see on my screen I have listed the command uh, next thing I will be discussing in practical session how you can add it the encrypted file and how you can view what are the contents of encrypted file if you want to decrypt a file you don't want encryption anymore how you can do that uh, if you see on screen this particular bit where i mentioned while encrypting user or like user may basically whoever is running the command will be asked to supply a new password when you are encrypting the things or when you are rekeying the things when you are editing viewing or decrypting a file you have to supply your existing password so that's something which I thought uh, that's worth to mention here let's begin technical session where I can give you a quick demo of the things which I mentioned in this particular slide so okay, guys I'm on my Ansible management server which is acting as my Ansible master so first of all let me show you my current directory I'm inside etc Ansible so here uh, first I'm going to create uh, a playbook, a playbook.yml uh, file. Basically inside that playbook I'm going to store uh, some password. So let me first create a playbook quickly. So I will call that playbook as playbook.yml. Okay, let's say this is my playbook in this playbook what I'm doing I'm simply creating a user with name test user and setting password to some variable so let me add a variable here for password so I will call it uh, password and for this password variable I'm going to generate a hashed password so let me do that quickly for that I'm going to use open SSL open SSL there are multiple ways to generate a 
encrypted password, but I prefer OpenSSL. Okay, OpenSSL password. Uh, I'm using minus one and using salt value, saying salt value would be something dummy. And here I'm typing my password. Okay, so this is the password which I got, which is encrypted password. So let me put this file inside my playbook now. So here. Okay, so I'm saving this file. So now you can see this particular file that got, uh, this is something confidential, like right? that's password. Like instead of password, you may have your um, RSA keys. I'm just giving you example. So just uh, think, if someone get this data, that's risky, right? Because this password is hashed password. If, even if someone gets, that's not that much risk because we have added salt value. It's not easy to de decrypt the password. But again, why to take risk? So we can encrypt this playbook. So what we can do, because this is existing file, to encrypt an existing file, basically we can run Ansible, Vault, Encrypt, and the file name. So here it will ask me password. Like I have to type a password which I want to use to encrypt this file. So I'm saying the password is this one. Okay, encryption is successful. You can see the message. And let me do ls minus l on this file now. Okay, you can see it's in read write, and this is a file. If I check the file type now, it would be normal file. But if you can this file, you can see everything is encrypted because Ansible is using AES256 cipher for encryption, and that's under Ansible Vault. You will see encrypted data. So no, no one can read that data. So that's something. This is the way encryption works. And let me give you one another example where let's say you want to create a new playbook because in this example, I have demonstrated how you can encrypt an existing playbook. Let's say you want to create a new playbook for that. You can run Ansible Vault create and you can say new playbook dot YML. So you can choose any password which you want to set up on the files. So I have added uh, this dummy data. Let's say I added some dummy data and save this file. So this particular playbook is saved. So that's a way like you can create a new playbook. And how you can read or uh, let's say you want to view what are the contents of your playbook. In that case, you can run Ansible Vault view the new playbook name let's check the content of this one playbook.yml here it will ask you for your vault password then whatever password you set up during the initial phase when you created this particular vault on this playbook you can type that password and ansible will display the data so that's something which is security if you normally do cat on this file it will be dummy data as i mentioned earlier okay next thing guys uh, how you can Edit a playbook. Let's say you want to add some more data in in this playbook. How you can do that? So Ansible Vault instead of view, make it add it and playbook. Here type the password. Okay, so here you can add uh, whatever data. Let's say let me put some numbers. So I have added something. Okay, and saving this file. So it's done. File is saved. And uh, how Ansible handles the playbook which is encrypted? Let me show you a quick demo. Uh, Ansible playbook. I'm going to execute this playbook on a node which is running. Let me first Ansible minus M ping or let me see because I got only one client server. Let me show you whether that's running or not. Okay, it's running. Server name is app server one. That's good. So I'm going to use Ansible playbook run this playbook with name playbook.yml it will up i got only one server so that's a target it is saying decryption failed on etc because that particular playbook was encrypted one so no one can run that playbook until or unless they supply the right password so that's again security let me show you how you can specify password so to handle the situation simply run that playbook and say dash dash ask vault password and uh, this should ask you vault password so whatever the vault password you have to supply that password 
and uh, here I got error. Error says uh, a var is not a valid attribute. Okay, that's something my mistake which I did in the playbook. Let me correct that playbook, but it accepted the password. You can see it worked on the playbook. So let me quickly fix and it's good like we got error. Uh, let me add it this one, add it. And let's see what issue I have made. Oops, silly mistake. So that's vars, not var. Okay, that should be good now. I'm saving this file and running the playbook again with the 